Good, good. Well, our first guest helps people get over their fears and bad habits using hypnosis. He's been featured on stage and television around the world, including the Today Show. Let's give a big welcome to Richard Barker and his volunteer, Jamie Daniel. Great to have you both here. Thank you. Thank you. What were you just doing to Al Roker in that clip? So Al um, was hypnotized to be a werewolf. A werewolf? A werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And um, did you have him howling? I did. Every time I said the word hypnosis, he howled at the moon. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Can anybody get hypnotized? You know, there's about an 80-20 rule. So what I've noticed is, like, on the Today Show in particular, there's always 20% roughly that won't be hypnotized for whatever reason, and 80% will. Okay. So it's not 100%. Right. So what is it that makes someone less likely to be hypnotized? Usually it's interrupting uh, the thought process, so I ask people to fully focus, relax, listen to each and every word I say. If there's a break in that concentration or somebody really deep down all of a sudden just doesn't want to be hypnotized, mm -hmm. then typically they won't be. Okay, now let's talk about your phobia here, Jamie. Um, we have some large spiders. I've heard. <laughs> Do you have an issue with I the am spiders? deathly afraid of spiders, yes. Oh, okay, there's a tarantula. Do you want to take a look at that? monitor there? Does that freak you out? Yeah. How does that make you I, feel? I, I don't like them at all and they don't need to be around me. So e even in your everyday life if you see a spider, do you? Uh, yeah, actually it's a big deal. I've almost been in a very serious car accident to a spider being in the car with me. had to pull over and stop and... Wow. Wow. How long have you had the fear? As long as I can remember. Okay. Um, Richard, is this common? Is this something that you could, do you think you could help her with this? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and p people come to see me for all kinds of fears and phobias. N n no fear or anxiety is, is sort of, y you know, small. In other words, you know, it, the outcome and the cause and effect of what could happen, like Jamie just mentioned, mm -hmm. a car accident or not being able to go to work or not being able to communicate with friends or family it is very serious. It so is. I, I get all kinds of people for all kinds of reasons as to what their fear or phobia is. Like I know heights uh, was mentioned and... Um, snakes. <laughs> snakes. Snakes. <laughs> you That's know, a common one. Living in right. Florida, you know, all kinds of issues and, and it can be resolved through removing the anxiety and that removes the cause and effect. Now, are you generally the last stop or the first stop? Because I'm thinking if you have an anxiety, you're probably yeah. going to go see a psychologist or a psychiatrist. So yeah. are, do people come to you first or do they come to you last? It's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> people will come to me first if they have a friend or family that has been to see me prior. We have a very high referral rate because it does work. Um, but ordinarily, you know, just um, in, in the chain of events, normally, no, we're, we're the last resort. Okay. All else, everything else has failed. They come to see us and they've Google searched and they found out a hypnotist might be viable. Unfortunately, we still have a bit of a stigma of Hollywood with the watch swinging and right. barking right. like dogs and that. So, you know, we have to sort of overcome that. But yeah, people will see as a, a last attempt. There are a lot of non-believers out there. Yeah, there are. And, you know, I, I do stage shows as well on cruise ships and um, I always ask the audience, you know, how many of you guys think this is fake? Some people put their hands up. Mm -hmm. Doesn't hurt my feelings. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, once you see it, I think you then have the realization that the mind actually does control pretty much everything we do. And if I'm able to influence that in a positive way, then once you've seen that close up, then obviously you believe it. Well, I think too sometimes people are afraid, sort of, not just the fear that it won't work, but maybe the fear on the other end that, like, after we leave, that Cindy and I are going to be clucking like chickens every <laughs> right, time right, we're right. eating the word hamburger. Yeah. At, for all eternity, you'll have mind control over us. Yeah. So, do you have a lot of people that feel that it way? Is, <laughs> it is. Just it, me. No, it's one of the misconceptions and, and fears generally that, um, what if I control your mind and extract your ATM pin number out of you or right. sure. deepest, darkest secrets? And it doesn't actually work like that. I, I can't control your mind and I can't hypnotize you unless you want to be hypnotized. Okay. And none of your deepest, darkest secrets or long-lasting effects w will, will sort of make you look stupid in any way or harm you. So it's perfectly safe. Jamie, do you want to be hypnotized? Yes, I would, I would like to experience it. Do you want to get over this fear? I do, I do. Although I'm a little worried they just said he could do this to Al and make him bark <laughs> at the moon when he said... He won't, he won't have you howling at no. anything. Okay. It'll, it'll all be all about the, the, the fear of spiders and getting over the arachnophobia. That would be fantastic. Okay, we're going to have you start. And uh, sure. when we come back, we're going to see how it goes, okay? okay. All right, yeah, we'll be right back with more day hunts. Don't go away. From this point forward, I want you to realize that you have no use for any anxiety, any worries or troubles. And from this point forward, should you ever see a spider, 
you'll simply open your eyes, you'll stare at the spider. The moment the spider comes closer to you, it just becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. Four, feeling better than you've ever felt before, and in a second, but not yet, five, eyes open. Welcome back, Jamie, how did that feel? It was fine. Feels relaxing, right? Yeah. yeah. Sleep, just relax and close your eyes, and the deeper you go, the better you feel. All right, so did it work? Well, now it is time to find out. Okay, uh, let's bring out the tarantula. Come on in here. So just for the person I'm touching now, in a few moments, but not yet, I'll count from one up to five. When I do reach five, you'll simply open your eyes. Now in a few moments, I want you to understand you will see a spider right in front of you. I'm not going to be asking you to touch it, but I want you to understand that all the anxiety, worries, and troubles, and fears of a spider and you, and you associated to a spider, will simply diminish and disappear. Now you'll just take a deep breath in, you'll open your eyes, you'll see the spider, and you realize nothing will worry, trouble, or disturb you in any way. Nod your head if you understand. I'm going to count from one up to five. Your eyes will fully open. You'll take a look right in front of you. Once again, nothing will worry, trouble, or disturb you. One, two, and three. Eyes open. Welcome back. So, Jamie, we just got the little friend over here. He's pretty harmless. What was his name again? Rose. Well, her name, her was name is Rose. Rose. <laughs> so, That's a very masculine name. <laughs> Now, Rose is more scared of you than you're probably scared of her. I mean, she's literally just having a little crawl around. Is What do you think of uh, Rose right now? Not the prettiest thing in the world, but do you have any observations, any worries, any troubles? No. Any problems at all? Not really? No. Pretty harmless. Jamie, I think it worked. How do you uh, feel right now? Very relaxed. Really? Yeah. That's, pretty, That's great. And when you came here today, you, you would not have had this reaction uh, had they put the no. tarantula in front of you. Is this good? Are you feeling yeah. amazed? And does it? How, I mean, how did you feel before? Does it feel much different? Uh, yes, because before I would have either kicked the box away or left the room. <laughs> so it's definitely an improvement. Yeah, and I'm still I'm very relaxed. Normally, when I see a spider, I get very sweaty and my heart races, and I just get very anxious and flushed. And she's just chilling out. I'm chilling out. It's it's all good. That's good. Can you put it in your hand, Zach? We'll oh, come on in here, Zach. Just have a little hold up. You do look like you just like had like a nice spa day. Yeah, you yeah. Do. So I nice feel fair. incredibly I almost relaxed. got uh, hypnotized sitting here, <laughs> <laughs> listening intently. <laughs> Does oh, she look. actually just jump on a hand? Is that what happens? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, she's actually very delicate. Look at that. So, uh, oh. Harmless. Rose. Hi, Rose. Oh, yeah, she's Has Rose cute. been on television before, oh, I wonder? Uh -huh. No, this is her first. This is a big debut hey, for Rose. Put your hand out, Jamie. Let's see oh. if you take. Feels wonderful, actually. Just move out of the way, Zach, to one side. There you go. I was gonna. Oh, wow. See how kind of fragile she is. Yeah. It's crazy. Wow. This is a breakthrough. Do you just put your hand there like that, and I guess she just keeps walking, huh? There we go. Like that. Okay. She kind of has a little pink sheen to her. I guess I know where she's called. See, Rose. she's kind of pretty, yeah, isn't she? she? Nothing to worry about at all, is Nothing it? Nothing really? to worry about. Look at that. There. Right back to your little home. Beautiful. I, so, admit, I don't like her either, but, but she's well, lovely. Well, yeah, she is lovely. Let go now, Rose. <laughs> She's not so waiting for she her has some problems. She needs to be hypnotized. Has some problems, yeah, I am so work. happy that yeah, worked, right? I know, I am too. Just relax and sleep in the deep uh, the So can you help people with addiction if they have like, yes. drinking or yes. smoking? The only difficulty with addiction is drugs. Yeah. I have to work with a doctor or, you know, a, a counselor. But um, smoking in particular, yes. Yeah. Um, Drugs, like hard, illegal drugs, mm -hmm. slightly difficult. Right. Um, alcohol, yes. Okay. And so most other addictions, yes. But for some reason, the drugs is an issue. There's, you have to work a bit harder with, you know, doctors and sure. you know, medical professionals. Is okay. it is it more challenging to uh, to help someone with a fear, say, fear of uh, decision making or fear of failure? That yeah. Is it that has less of a sort of edge to it. Yeah, you know, the, the number one fear is public speaking, and I and I actually deal with. Quite a lot of people that are really in, you know, high-powered, you know, jobs and careers, and um, but they have an inherent fear of speaking in front of whether it be cameras or people, and uh, so uh, yeah, it really is helpful for for that. Well, That's there awesome. you go. You saw it happen right here on daytime. Uh, Richard Barker and I'll bring Jamie up. Hey. And I can't agree. One, two, and three. Eyes open. Welcome. Back. Jamie, thanks for coming in today. Yeah, thank you. I'm thank glad you. This was a success. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Right. We'll be welcome. right back with more daytime, so don't go away.